Living with a Black Dog, a guide for partners, carers and sufferers. What not to say or do. You may well be right when you say, it's all in your head, but don't say it. Leave that up to the professionals. Be a man. This certainly doesn't help, especially if they are one already. Depression is an illness, not a sign of weakness. Don't be an armchair general who gives unfounded advice and orders. Being thoughtful and kind will never go amiss, but don't try and jolly them along. It can often make them feel worse. Don't point out that there are people in this world far worse off than them. It just adds to their feelings of guilt and hopelessness. Good things to say and do. Be sensitive about how you approach the subject. A lot of people aren't used to talking about their mental health or lack of it. Crossing that line simply means you care. Try not talking. Instead, grow your ears and open your heart. Really being there for someone without opinion or judgment is one of the best gifts you can ever give. Encourage them to seek a professional opinion and offer to help find a good doctor, make an appointment, and even going with them can be hugely beneficial. Encourage any form of regular exercise. Fitness robs the dog of its power. Help them develop a strategy to simplify their life, both at home and at work. Stress is one of the biggest drivers of depression. Less stress means less dog. Make them a ditch the dog box. Encourage them to fill it with favourite photographs, letters, or anything that reminds them of what's good in their life. Include a dog journal. Here, they can plot how they're feeling, acknowledge progress, record the things they're grateful for, and set doable goals. Embracing the black dog. Agree to a course of action to get rid of the black dog. An ignored dog can become a big problem. Learn about the condition together. Knowledge is power and validation is a great healer. A united front is crucial in getting the black dog to move on. As a caregiver, compassion, empathy and understanding are vital. But recognise that you alone don't have the power to rescue your loved one. Professional help is often what's needed. Finding the right doctor can make all the difference to a healthy recovery. If they're going to tell someone their problems, it should be someone they respect and feel comfortable with. Don't be afraid to go for an initial assessment and don't feel committed to continue if it doesn't feel right. If it's suggested you take antidepressants, do your research, know the facts and ask your doctor plenty of questions. A big obstacle for seeking professional help is the cost. Help them realise that the cost of not getting the right help can be considerably higher. It can cost marriages, friendships, jobs, and even life itself. Some simple rules of engagement and agreement. Agree that there is a black dog in your midst and things may have to change temporarily. Agree that no one can help them until they fully commit to helping themselves. Agree to be gentle and respectful with one another during this time. Agree to check in with each other on a regular basis. Agree to communicate honestly and openly. Agree to the course of action set by their doctor and to review progress regularly. Self-preservation for the caregiver. It can be difficult not to take anger, criticism, negativity and apathy personally. It's important not to buy into it, except that it's the depression barking, not the person you care for. Being overexposed to someone else's black dog can begin to rub off. Misery loves company, so try not to get sucked into the vortex. It's really important to recognise and honour your own needs, limitations and boundaries. Difficult situations are better dealt with when you are calm and in the moment. Yoga, meditation and mindfulness are great tools for achieving calmness and control. Join a support group. There's nothing like being in a room full of people who understand and share your story. It's important to get out and do your own thing and be with friends. Friends may not be able to solve your problems, but they can offer incredible support, comfort, wisdom and laughter. 
A black dog in any relationship can be confronting, frightening and frustrating. But navigated together, the bond can become deeper, richer and better for it. And finally, the most important aspect of this journey is to constantly remind each other, it will pass, it will pass, it will pass. If you have a black dog in your life, get help, be helped and always hold on to hope.